This is an absolute beautiful coyote today. Just a fabulous, fabulous uh, looking coyote. Look at the quality of that fur there on him. He's a dandy, folks. Let me go ahead and get this guy put down, but what a... It just doesn't get any better than that as far as I'm concerned. I mean, this coyote, he, he could be up in the Dakotas, seriously. Uh, it doesn't matter where he's at, but this, this guy's a winner. So anyway, super coyote caught here on a cornstalk edge next to standing wheat, so wheat stubble. Perfect coyote, let me go and get him put down. Okay, trappers, I got a, got myself my new camera and thought I'd go ahead and show you just exactly what I got going on. Um, let's go ahead and uh, redo my set. He gave me a little present right there, so I need that. Like anything, we want to go ahead and let's clear out our area. Beautiful coyote caught and want to give us a new trail just, just for our own benefit. And we're going to create a sap post set, but I need to go ahead and this ground is so hard. that getting the trap sunk back down is going to take a little doing. There we go. It's coming out. There we go. Let me go ahead and I picked up some wheat just for our scent post. There we go. And uh, I have that in place. And we'll get our trap put in. And while I go ahead and move the camera, well, I think you can see pretty good right there. I think so. So let's go ahead and get this trap in place. There we go. Now it's so dusty and powdery. I'm not putting a pan cover because these are night latched. They only really have to go about a sixteenth of an inch. You can see the dust fly. There we go. So I'm not packing on the inside of my jaws. <coughs> I'm simply just uh, making sure my trap is solid when I push down on it. Let's level it out. Okay, and I got some, I'm gonna go ahead, light this area out. And let's, now that that's kind of wiped out, got another scout right there, good. He uh, has blessed me there. So I'll gather up some of this dust that I got let's spread that out and let's make the area big there so we got it I'm gonna go ahead and use some of that scat about eight to ten inches out this um, is really kind of become a salient feature this is the second coyote I caught out of this but the first coyote, it was a defined trail. This coyote was caught at a much different, uh, it was open like this because we already had a catch circle. I'm going to use some of my High Hills Gland Lure. Just put that near the base. You don't need a lot. That was just a little bit bigger glove than I need, but it was, it's what it was one piece, nice and chunky. Let's give our scat a little bit of coyote urine and you can use fox urine, you can use bobcat urine and I'm doing the same thing on my scent post. So I kind of lean the scent post back 
Let me go ahead and grab the camera and show you this. So there we go. Just a real nice set uh, for a very beautiful coyote. Let's go ahead and get this guy processed. Really nice. So trappers, I got a, uh, this is the first film on my new camera and sound mic, so hopefully it's coming through. Um, what I'm doing this year is at the end of every day, I have to fight opening up cold coyotes after being there all day. So I'm opening them up and then putting the hide back over them and then when I get home tonight, it'll be easy. I go ahead and quickly put them on my skinning machine. But I'll show you what I'm going to do. Uh, what, I, what, what I need right now is I need my gambrel. And my gambrel has, I, this is how I clipped it on. Put a little snap so this way I can take it on and off between the different coyotes. Uh, same way with, I need my my knife, my steel, and my tail zipper. So those are what I'm using. And let me go ahead and put this, get this coyote opened up. But just a perfect coyote, really. So I'll go ahead and open him. Let's put them up. Just a super coyote. I, I just can't ask for any better here in Kansas. But just, just perfect. So anyway, I'll go ahead and the first, the first we want to do is uh, go up that tail. I usually start right about right in here, just below the white. Get it started. And then you go up around the vent. And we want to come up. Yeah, this is a female. Go beside the vagina. There we go. And now I'm gonna keep the white on the white and the dark on the dark. Come right up the leg. There we go. We can kind of help it out here a little bit. Do a little knifing to get some of the, to get some of the uh, tendons kind of broke free, do the same thing on the belly side.
Okay. So we'll peel that down. We're going to peel it, and I like to start from the belly side. There we go. Now when I pull, I want to keep my hand close to the hide and pull down, down and back. Now I pulled that much and I'll re-grip, get closer to the hide. Don't, I think you'll have less chances of ripping if you make a double move here. Actually a triple move. So look how nice, there's not a lot of fat on this coyote, but because it's hot, it's opening up relatively easy. Let's go ahead and not cut through the hide, but let's get that tail separated. belly side I want to cut just just underneath the vulva there so now I I just have the vulva here I'm gonna pull down this hide I'm gonna pull the sides a little bit and let's go ahead and see how far I can get this tail If she wants to hang up, go ahead and make sure you get your tendons cut. I think I got it. I think I got it. So I'm going to take my tail strippers now. and pull it on out. We're done with that. Let's go ahead and finish splitting this tail open. There we go. Now this hide is ready for my machine now. I'm gonna go ahead and it, to prevent the hide from drying out during the day, I'll go ahead and cup it in. And I'll put my animal right back in the truck. So there we have it. That particular Little job saved me a lot of time tonight. Once that, now that he, I was able to skin him while he's hot, I have a perfectly good machine to finish the job. Take me a minute and a half to do the rest of it. If it's bright enough, I'll show you. But it just doesn't take long with the machine. But the biggest time waster for me is at the end of the day where I'm, I'm having to open up a coyote that's very tough, very cold at that time. This has saved me a tremendous amount of work for the day. Now that I'm done, I can take this off so this ain't banging around on my pole. I want you to notice I made my pole long enough that I can have my tailgate down. So I just drive around with this in my receiver hitch throughout the day. I like it. It saved me a ton of work this year. I, uh, you may want to consider for your trap line. Anything that can save us some work in the long run is the way we want to go. Let me go and finish this up.
ready for the next coyote.